lot of activity going around here. Edison just showed up, I guess. Uh, Got to lead the parade up here. They're doing with that thing, it's uh, hate to be in the way, so doing some with that gate post, though. I think we're gonna see it come down. There she goes. Six kids and mom and dad. No kids. Well, built by my great great grand or my great grandfather. 1848. Be 150 years old next August. Looks like she's pretty solid. Uh, we took her down once and redid it. Yeah. I guess. Mary Ann and Bill just arrived. seen this that didn't see a lot of the cabin. This is the back of it that we're looking at now coming out. pictures are taken from right in front of the old house in the barn. I think we're standing right out in front of the barn right now, swinging it around. Give the date, Mike. Time. This is uh, August 27th. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. 
1997. 1997. I was telling Larry earlier that it was 46 years ago this week that we left the house here. Right after Huey and Mona's wedding, moved into Baltimore. Yeah, they got her out on the road. I feel a great deal of emotion right now about this thing. Sure, I sat there a long time. We're going to get ready to move here so we can stay ahead of this thing and film it as it's going by. Try to let traffic come back through. There's Marianne inspecting the remains. She's wondering if they left the outhouse back there. Still there. Marianne probably went back and used it. Yeah, well, I already used them down the road myself. <laughs> the garden right out there. That fence line you can see there is going back to the woods. This is where about here was where the milk house was. And coming in you can see just a little bit of rubble left here where the barn was. where the house was right over there. Not much left there. Well, I think we're going to go. It looks like they're getting ready to move her up the road. Got her tied down. through the car window. I don't know how well it's going to come out. They're slowing down here. The road's getting pretty narrow. Down in front of the Otenbecker farm. Formerly the Frank Sullivan farm. in front of Mary Fitzgerald's house now. It just the line going in there kind of skinned right over the top of the roof. Take a picture of that. This is Mary Fitzgerald's house. I'll try and pull up. One of the original Irish um, 
this world. Families. Well, I didn't have the recorder on, so I have to repeat that yellow pole there on the right. They're lifting a wire there to this house on the right. And going pretty slow through here. The road's pretty narrow. And there's a lot of tree branches hanging over the left. That's why they're way over on the left-hand side of the road trying to miss those trees. Here's the beginning of the county line property. I'm not going to stay in that too long because I'm looking through this camera and driving at the same time. Got a couple I'll parts. steer them like If you want to put two hands on that. If you no, I'm hurrying. the back of the kid. No, that's the front again. Or the back. Yeah, I guess that's the back. Mm -hmm. Really getting close to Putty got 30 mile road now and it's 930. So we've gone about two miles and a half an hour. Almost looks like they're going to turn and go on putty cut. They are. They're going to take it right up, I guess, back out the grass, but I don't know. This is a change in plans. The original route was to take it right up. I don't know whether they got too much construction or what the hell is going on here. Turned it on to putty cut, heading west. I don't know if they had traffic backed up too much here or whether they're heading for west are gonna go over to Grasha. Better get out there before this trucky blocks in. Building over there, Mike, he used to be in the college at school. Yep. This house used to be lived in by a man by the name of Bill Wall Crookedneck. <laughs> Was he related to Pheasant Odenbecker? And Grashit, they're going up Grashit. They're rolling right along now, but they're taking up all of Grashit, I'll tell you that. It's all pulled off the side of the road. I guess I'd pull over too if I seen this logging cabin coming at me. I think I had spent too much time at Eberhardt's last night if I seen this coming up grass. just said we wondered why they didn't come out to grass it in the first place. I don't think they realized how bad that construction probably was on county line. I think that's why they had to get off there. They're really rolling along right now. And the old gear shifted on that truck that's pulling her. They're coming up into Muttonville right now. I hope you can hear some of Larry's irritation about whose places we're going by at Paul Vermeesh's farm we're going by right now. For you that remember, if you look over to the left, you can see the steeple of the Lutheran Church there in Montreal. St. Peter's Lutheran. pretty fast here and I'm trying to video and drive too so maybe a little bumpy and shaky. I think we're going to sign off here until we get through Muttonville. Just 
just point the camera at Eberhard. Old Eberhard right now. I don't know how well it's coming out. I'm they're really slowing down here in downtown Muttonville. I don't know whether they're gonna, we still don't know what they're doing, whether they're turning and going into Richmond or what. Going in the parking lot here or making a wide swing, I'm not sure which. Going down Main, up Main Street. They're going up Main Street. Uh, I don't know, there's a pretty heavy line there. They may be going around that. I'm not just sure which. It, I think they're going around no, that heavy line. Not. Well, we're through Muttonville. We're coming up past the county where the county line road came out, where we thought we were going to come out. But I think it was pretty nice that they took it through downtown Muttonville. Going past the original Capozo farm. see this, but up on just to the left of that window, there's some chinking out up there. Sometimes, if I'm far enough back, you can see right straight through. Must be a little bit out on the other side, too. But there hasn't been any chinking or anything dropping off, so they're keeping it pretty level and pretty straight there. I think it's going to be in good shape when it gets there. We're moving along 20 miles an hour right now. A lot of people taking some double takes with this thing coming up right now. Some of them may know where it's coming from, some may not know what's going on at all. Turn around 32 mile road. Kind of back to the original plan of where they were supposed to be going. This showman walking here in front, I talked to him this morning. He was pretty amazed that we lived in that place at one time. Made the turn on to 32. A fair amount of homes along here, so this is, I think, probably going to be a little slow with them having to raise wires. Looks like they can just get her set down now, they won't have to replace hardly any of that chicken. <coughs> We've hauled everything into this town, Mike. Yeah. Wheat, oats, cattle, now cabins. Yeah. Get a picture of that Richmond city limit if you can. There's a uh, Richmond city limit. She's rolling in there right now. What did some of this 
used yeah. to be up this here. This used to be uh, the Ray Weeks Slaughterhouse. And I hope you heard that, that Ray Weeks Slaughterhouse there on the right. We're just going by right now. I'd like to take a shot of it. But, uh, back there it is, right there. Weeks Food Corporation, still there. Gentleman over here on the left is from the historical site of Larry something. Yeah, they're turned around on Baby Street. We'll see if we can get a little better side view. You're probably all tired of looking at the back of this. There's the front door. Approaching uh, BB Park on the right. One of the earlier names of Richmond, I think, was BB's Corners. This park used to have a racetrack when I was a youngster. Sulky horse races and large fairs in the summertime. That was before my time. Larry's a little older than I am. Yeah. I suppose Mike Gavin, my grandfather, raced horses here. Uh, he lived in Columbus. On the right-hand side, the building with the yellow and the brown roof is the uh, old stables. A uh, train station. Train station is right yeah. on our left. Yeah. That's right. You know, guys are nothing but a bunch of gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been called a bunch of gypsies. We're moving our house no matter where we go. Let me out Almost looks like they're going to pull up back it in here. I'm not sure just what's going on. In fact, I think we're going to shut this thing off and get parked and do some filming in a little bit. Kind of interesting. Right now, the moving guy was trying to figure out what the front was so he'd know where to put it. Well, I just turned the recorder on. I don't know if I forgot to turn it off before or not. But we're back on anyway, and we have some bad footage in there, but they're just backing it in right now. There's the footing where she's going to set, right there. And this is the uh, Columbus train station. Getting her set. I think we just found out that the change was that St. Clair County Highway Department came along and said they couldn't take it up the county line to Gratiot, so they had to cut across Puttacut, took it over to Gratiot, and took it up Gratiot, which doesn't bother me a bit. I'm kind of glad to see it go through Muttonville. Well, they're setting her down. She's in place.
The nurse boys did quite a job bringing her up here. The reason for the change was St. Clair County chased them off county line, so they couldn't go that way, so they swung her across the putty cut road, brought her up grasses. It was, uh, it's 10.30 now, so about an hour and a half took them to wheel her up here. This gentleman here from the Port Huron Times Herald, taking some pictures and getting some stories. Right now, he's talked to Larry and I, and he's uh, talking to some of the workmen in the Durst. I'm just going to pan across here. There's the Columbus Station. That school that's moved in here. Nice area up here. It's nice and quiet and clean. Agnes and Roy Green's there. That's Agnes talking to Marianne. There's Roy talking to Larry. What's kind of neat about this is they've got it set the same way as she set on the farm. She's looking south. And this is the east end. That's pointing east. And back is still pointing north. So it sets just about the same direction as she set on the on the farm. Matt and Olivia, if you see this, this is the kind of school desk we used to have. Any of you other grandkids that see this? It's about the size of the school your great grandmother taught in. You heard that in the background, I am filming the Columbus station right now, but the school that we're in is called the Clump, or uh, School Section Schoolhouse. It was on School Section Road off of M19 in Richmond. She's still sitting up on the my beams. Did you already come down here three inches, Ron? They're letting her down little by little. Is that what they're going to do now? I, yes, I think so. He's the, one of the Durst brothers said that they'd have it set by this afternoon sometime. <laughs> 